Lowering your truck is the coolest way to go, but when you lower it, where are you going to put your exhaust? Going underneath the frame, you're running out of room real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to get this kit from Brothers. You can see it's really nice, big, fat, meaty metal. Nice, big, fat, meaty bolts. And it comes with a metal template instead of like just a regular old paper template that falls apart. There's a couple of different ways you can do this right here. What you're going to want to notice is this large, big, fat hole here first. You're going to line that up with either this hole here or this hole here. Now, when you line it up to the hole right here, it's going to take this and it's going to move it in just a little bit to the frame. When you go with this side, which is what I'm going to do, it's going to move it to just a little bit outside of the frame. So I'm going to do there. I'm going to get my nice big fat bolt, go right through the hole, and I'm going to bolt this on. Now I've got a couple of different ways of doing this depending on what kind of tools I have. If I have a plasma cutter, die cutter, what have you, or if I've just got a regular old hole saw. Now you'll notice right here that this is cut out along here. So if I wanted to bolt this on and then just scribe it out, then I could get my plasma cutter or die cutter and cut that out. Or you'll notice that it has this hole right here in the center. So when I bolt this on, I'll be able to take the drill here and I'll be able to center it up to that hole and drill it right on out. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what comes up next. All right, another helpful handy hint right here is that after you've drilled your first hole, go ahead and bolt that up because if you think that the template's just going to sit there and stand still while you're drilling the other holes, you're wrong. So bolt it up, get it secured, then drill the rest of your holes. I'm ready to cut out my hole, but I do not want to do it this way. If I cut through this side, I'm going to cut through my template. It's going to ruin it for using it on the other side. So I'm going to come to the back, center it into the hole, and go ahead and drill this guy out. All right, I've got it all cut out. Now this is going to take some time and you're going to want to go a little bit slow. One of the things you have to watch out for is this drill bit right here. When you're starting that up and it's all chunking around and stuff, that'll just snap right off. So you just got to get up on there easy and then just drill on through. When you're drilling on through, make sure that you don't go through your template or you're going to have a hard time doing the other side. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy off now. I'll drill out my three remaining holes nice and large. I'll bolt this all up and I'll show you how good it looks when I'm done. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my nice big beefy bracket here. I'm going to stuff it right through the hole. I'll take our nice large bolts. They'll go through. Don't forget your lock washer before you put your nut on. So you can see this is pretty easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of time. doesn't take a lot of tools. And uh, we are able to get more clearance for our exhaust without weakening our frame. If anything, we made it a little bit stronger. So be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and check us out on YouTube. And subscribe because I'm doing these every single day to help you guys get your truck back on the road.